he, he's a all baby, and he's still not just yet beginning a good to answer. develop. And that's another thing. No matter how I try to get him, and he described he's a video of Alex fighting. Alex can fight. This girl wasn't just a video. I don't understand this. What are we on right now? Day later, now? after I sent her out of the room, I sent her room one after the other, and just pump. It's just pump this. I am fast to forwarding this. I, I can't him, take it. I don't, I don't even know what you she's came talking to the about. conclusion because you know a lot of times moms are passionate and they on the outside feel like okay this is a mom who doesn't want to accept certain things about her son so if you show them mm -hmm. her and how you got to the point that you got to that kind of would help so let's okay i did share with you the she screenshot is the mom that, that doesn't Esmiller think her son could do anything wrong well, my son was still alive march 13th is on that's, that's a false that narrative message she said that the boys, now they were with for visitation. So like, she's, she's got a balance, but she's, she's making perfect. it out. So whatever money she's trying to get from the public. The kids said, that's all uh, I need to see. Y'all look at this. The kids said their mom, I don't know who wrote this. It's horrible. Took a break and hit him up the head and fell. Kids mentioned mom told them to go upstairs. They looked up and went on the mom and the babysitter and it was their neighbors. Kids mentioned they were different mom. Say they had to go to the hospital, she'd be back. If this is what the kids saw, do you think that there had to be neighbors who saw that? What happened at night? She possibly moved. Are you talking about a. Oh, no, come on. What does this text have to do with you getting your custody of your grandson? It, it doesn't say who it's from. There's no number in here. There's no context. There's no foundation being laid since her son uses terms that he doesn't understand. This, this is moot. This is moot. This is the epitome of moot. You don't know who this is. This this text would never be introduced as evidence in in, the, in a case for a homicide investigation. They don't know who it's from, who's talking. What does that have to do with anything? You start off with hearsay. There's no facts to prove any of this happened. And the kids more than likely may or may not be able to testify to this stuff. So why why are we why are we on the subject still? And and not talking about how you can get your grants, but yes, she's sitting here quick to say it's not easy. They want me to do fingerprints and that is and outside the court. But don't go outside the court. Go to court. A visitation with their father, and they told their father grew up around and get the house up everything. So she was sick. And on top of that, it's important. It doesn't matter. No, it's not. Nikki, what? Uh, um, Ooh, you know, so it's fake. better if you don't look at it at all. Um, but let me let me just take it off right now. Were you able to read it? One second. All right. So it's from who? Who's this from again? The stepmother of the two older boys. Okay. So this says the kid said to go to the hospital and the she stepmother of the two older children sent a text saying what the kid said that's all hearsay that's all hearsay the stepmother can say what the kid said but she can also misconstrue it if she's passing a message along grass people will show up while i'm trying to do my video if this is what the kid saw do you think they're this is somebody telling you I couldn't redact that one that quickly. I redacted the names. What? They would have been able to clarify this themselves, but they didn't want to come on, so. Why would you want them to? We're not here for that. Okay. We're not here for that. You say that My for a criminal court that of law. He wanted to have an attorney present when he came, and I asked Shanice to please join this. Uh, Is the, the wife of the oldest children of Lex's, um, this is the wife of the the oldest two, children's father. Two, two older boys, yes. The two okay. older boys are K and K. My grandson is five years old. He's he's eight. Those are Mr. E's uh, children, and they're about three years old now. They're, her mother uh, cared for them out of the hospital. CPS, uh, she took them in. CPS sent them there. My grandson, what they gave her, the children. Next um, thing that you wanted to show? Okay, let's see. All right, this is, oh my God, this is not, this is not a court hearing. This is not, there's a way to do this stuff and it, it can't be done this way. 
because you bringing up text messages that other people sent. How do you know that that lady wanted that message shared like that? This is not a court hearing. Oops, got the wrong one. Hold on. I, I don't. I just don't like the fact that, that she can't seem to focus on how to get her grandson. And she's bringing up all this other stuff. One particular that you have any questions on. Was on probation, so therefore he could not or or should not have been taken anything. That's kind of what it sounds like. Again, I'm not there. I wasn't there. I don't. I don't know. But that's just kind of what they. it sounds like. Because as and that's what he did and he got off of it and for spiritual reasons oh I, my god lady you're over talking to everybody she can barely finish the question I have a lot of mercy toward my children so you know what I'm saying so it's like yeah. so, if exactly. she's this type of person and they're together it's kind of like right 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 right, right. Yeah, like, let, let, yeah let me touch on that so yeah so uh, let me tell you a little bit about Alexis cause you're talking about type of, it sounded like she's talking okay, well, much we, about we it, don't really need to know about it we, we just know she did a video dads. giving up the children she's the type of person is they, they're able to ease so many different situations that was a one that was a one time it doesn't sound like a person who like, took up the other time like we got I was immediately she didn't want any of it. very clear mind and that's why I'm just trying to he see had what, what my nephew the majority you. of the time like we got tons of pictures videos everything and guess what go get custody line, bro go, go to Miami, court she would literally just drop him off and leave for weeks to go strip and make money and do whatever she wanted to do she really didn't want those kids she didn't want any of them that's obvious so that's what people need to understand she did a viral in the video with viral we, we're not How questioning that they dating before before uh, the kid before my nephew? A month or two. No, a month or two. So, like, how long? Had the baby in October. Were they, like, broke up and weren't a couple no more? Yeah, see, I turned it almost immediately, and the Lord showed me, and it's like, a lot of people don't see these things, but he showed me. And this is, this is me telling you firsthand, because I was his brother, and we would have these deep conversations. He thought by getting back with her, that would pretty much soften her up. To where she would be more open Wait a minute. to the death of that child. And then she confessed to me that she had been pregnant and lost it. First of all, the Lord showed me what happened. Okay, I want to answer the question real quick of how long they were together. So it was probably closer to about two years. But keep in mind, since it was toxic, it was on and off. So when they would get back together... And this is this is me telling you firsthand because I was his brother. And we so are we not just direct questions? Give it, give a direct by answer. Getting back with her, the, I mean, that I, would you know, pretty much soften her up to where she would be more open to letting him see the child. So or you could get work. custody. So during the time, it might have been, might have been like God, year and a half, two years, but a lot of time it was like on it could have been thousands of dollars. Okay, like, we got. Never mind. These are words coming out of her mouth. Oh She's God, I, I'm not. Years I'm of evidence, so y'all gotta put to the police. Justice for Islands is a huge database and I collect stuff every day. So as we get this case together, I, yeah, I'm coming for her. I'm coming for her in court. You got to go for the child the right now. You don't son. worry I mean, about her. The girl her, is going to get it. She gonna, she it's going to happen, happen, but you can't. Taylor Simons, his name is. How are you going to go for it? So when you heard the, I mean, did you hear the children, uh, the big boy tell how his mother killed my son and how this is what the children are saying. Uh, the children are saying it, but that's not right. credible. The people that's disrespecting the guests on your show, it's hella wild for you to suggest they just don't read the comments. Number one, a lot of the comments. She did it too. Okay. You guys, you if find the audio, yeah. I actually have right. audio right. on one of my devices. And then you can explain what happened. Okay, well, uh, Montina told me that she took a sip of her drink and she passed out. Alex told us the same thing. Alex said she could have oh, been wait, my drink. Second. I'll, I'll, said Alex that said that she, why wouldn't she you have your moderators block people that's disrespecting the guests on your show? It's hella wild for you to suggest they just don't read the comments. Number one, a lot of the comments are, I don't feel like some of some of people are saying disrespectful stuff or whatever, but there are some people who are asking genuine questions. So it's either I don't have no comments or I have comments. Comments. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. We cannot pick and choose what comments we want to filter. We will have to either block the user or disable comments for everybody. And I think the question that everybody keeps asking is, what is stopping you right now from getting custody of this child?
Because I, we're not hearing anything that is substantial to validate why you have not filed an emergency hearing or requested an emergency hearing on a petition for custody. We're not hearing anything like that. To justify why you haven't done that, you keep obsessing over what the mother has done. You're accusing her of homicide. You're doing all this stuff, and you don't have credible evidence. That might be why the prosecutor or the DA did not pursue it. This stuff would not land in court as admissible evidence. Text messages from a stepmother of two other children on the father's side. I, none of that was, it's hearsay. If the evidence doesn't even take you there, if they have no evidence whatsoever, and these kids don't seem to be older, three years old, they're not old enough to testify. And most judges wouldn't even want children that small to say anything or testify. So, it, it, you know, it, it would be have to be a dire situation to get two three-year-olds to testify in a homicide investigation about what they witnessed. It would have to be they witnessed the entire thing and there's proof to show that they were there when it happened. You're talking about a text that someone sent you based on what she's saying the kids told her. That's hearsay. When are you going to file the petition to get custody? Leave the comments off. They want to be able People to want to ask questions, and I'm still waiting on the answer to that. Off the comments when I'm having an interview, I normally allow people to talk in the comments as long as they're being yes. respectful. That's, However, that's there are people who on. have genuine questions that may not favor what they're saying. That doesn't mean that they're wrong for their the opinions. Opinion. They just they might not be, Come you on, know, as colorful as you know you you you. You would like them to be, but I don't think that um, it's never a good. It's either on or off. Speech. Either you nope. want to be able to talk, or you don't. Or you don't want to say nothing at all. Everybody still wants just... to be able to talk in the chat. So that's why I say instead of muting everybody and people not being able to have their opinions, just block the then users. Just being disrespectful. It's easier to, for them to just not look at it because all the opinions won't be favorable even if i start blocking people there still could be a comment yeah, there's just, almost two thousand yeah. people watching i can't police two thousand people so it's either keep the comments on or keep the They're comments off. off and we don't look at the comments or pay attention to the comments it's it's not both i'm not, not gonna be on a blocking spree i'm not about to do that i don't do that regularly yet. that's not how i run my show nope so Good job. Yeah, I definitely understand. And I know you want to leave it open Cannot for discourse. So I understand you've been very respectful. Um, so, yeah, so and a lot of these questions, yeah, like people are going to ask and like it's reasonable to ask. Uh, and I'll just just to clarify, my, my only objection with Alexis is because she had her time to speak. So that's all this is possible. So I get it. That I talk about having accused me at peace and not traumatized. Ever since my son had died, she would do that. My father is vicious with me. She busted up my son's car and like, I hear my son was like, okay, can you hear me now? I can hear. There might be a reason why your audio is messed up. Maybe God doesn't know you've been talking me? about this. I can hear you, but you're frozen. But go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm saying that I raised my children to be about perfect. I don't live and think like they do. And I, and I did. They, they came out great. Understand. My daughter has an MBA today. <laughs> Seat up. The next thing that you want to show that's in the background, he gave me his passwords. So this is okay. What is this supposed to prove? Won't allow it to get too big, but this one should. Okay. So, you gotta you know, save it as a picture. I don't know what are you reading. To Miami and had abandoned the children. At this they're point in the chat. They're saying they can't see it. So if you said you were gonna um, screenshot it and then post it. I, I can send it to you. Would you like me to do that? What are yeah. we looking at? Okay. Why? 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 Is this Facebook? I don't have Facebook. Okay, just I have no idea what that, that is. Is that a comment? Who is, is X? Who is X that's writing in the private chat? I, I don't know. That's... That's what happens when you post up the link to the live of uh, oh, okay. this, this got somebody Nika Knight was it. gracious enough to give you an oh, interview and then you post the link on Facebook. And then you took your time about deleting the post. She didn't want this open to everybody. That's why. You end up getting bots and spammers and people trolling. Good Lord. Okay. 
screenshots while it was happening. On this, uh, this stream. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm fast forwarding through this, y'all. I don't care. I don't care. I want to do more until I know what she's done. Ready? It's something to your tech platform with, you know, certain names and certain things. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to afterwards. I'm gonna have to take this live down because you're doxing people. I could get in trouble for my platform with you know certain names and certain yeah, things. Like she, I don't. She is not. I don't. We I don't, don't do say that. Na- you know, like I don't. You don't need to say names. I you don't know who these people are anyway. So okay. she was saying our names. She was saying my name in that uh, recording that you were doing. She repeated it and trying to be as. No, I understand that, that more Lex said your name. That's the only person I talked to. I didn't talk to all the other people who you okay. named. So her screen name, her name is Alexis Danelli Wright. No, I'm saying the other people that you had named? Yes. Yeah, I didn't. Um, we don't even know who they are. So I we don't care about them. their name. We don't That's know who they name. are. Okay. You can't just do that, She lady. mentions them in those videos that she made on May 5th, particularly the father of the twins. She can say okay, but then she go back to doing the same I'm stuff. Just, I'm just saying that's, I was referring to those. Uh, those we don't care. To, we don't know who they are. I'll do it. And then they gave her the phone number. And then she responded and she said, uh, nope, I didn't even go see his A at the hospital. January 4th, she's referring to. What does this have to do with the child? They, they start something they can't finish. <laughs> Chris Lawson is my son. His name is Alex Christopher Lawson. Can't pull Lawson. That's who's talking. What? Alex is answering for himself. His screen name was Chris Lawson at the time. So, oh, that's your son that passed away? Is on yeah, the- he's, he's, he's Alex Christopher Lawson. That's his name. Okay, X. Um... Have him reach out to me, or you could you could put it in the private chat. You could put the contact in the private chat. The audience can't see the private chat. Um, only I mean I could see it in us backstage, but go ahead and put it in the private chat. Um, yeah, all right, so all right, patience. so let me take. Y'all see this by a step grandmother. Okay. Um. Is there a way for you to just play the audio and not... I don't want to put the sun up here. So, okay. if you can... Um, I can try to hide the screen. What? No, just play it. If you just play it on your computer, we'll hear it. Just play it. Okay, yeah, it wasn't playing for me. It was just uh, kind of pausing things. I have... What are we... Why, 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 okay. What is Thank that? you for putting your info in the chat. Uh, let me forward it to you. I don't get what what is this for? Okay, how about let's go to the nine one one call. Okay, let let's let's go to the nine one one call. So, can you explain the nine one one? Several times, my son stopped her from taking her own life. She's a cutter, trying to cut herself. At one point, would jump on lines. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm trying to hear what's. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like extremely hard to hear. What is this supposed Let's to see. be proving? How, how does this, like, I don't think they understand evidence that you got to gather to prove anything in a homicide investigation. This is the, these text messages, the emails don't mean anything. Let's see. I think it was there is a video with Alexis that you wanted to share. And the hour, it was an hour and 36 minutes. What was the timestamp? That you wanted me to go to on here? We're not Where playing my the whole thing. asking for food. Yeah. At one zero zero two five. One hour and twenty five seconds in. And she I told my son about it after he had a fever. He was going to take him to the hospital. My son cried about that. Uh, she was begging him not to contact CPS and said it was normal. I've why so do you all get custody then? Things. One thing I never did was call every day. I'm a very busy person. I also watched my other grandson, whose name is Noah. Six grandchildren. Primary physical. I don't physical. have time to be calling CPS all day. Physical and when I talk to them, 
they don't listen to me. The only time that they actually did something is when that neighbor called. Uh, the cousin was always no putting one it to this was like they were doing public posts on this. So uh, I was getting ready to take her to CPS. Who's the custodial parent? But they told her, don't come. The kids were placed. We can't tell you who they're with. Alexis said they're with her, or allegedly, or whatever. And so that's the situation. And so now it's a longer process that we have to go through now that they're back in her custody, allegedly. Back to her, who does okay, social media yeah. saying she had the kid. I feel like this is, is very messy, but I am reading the chat. So just so y'all know, my mom did call CPS. When she called to get him, literally, uh, I was getting ready to take her to CPS. They had told her, they contacted her and said they were already placed. They couldn't tell my mom where they were. But I guess who was on social media saying she had the kids, Alexis. So when they placed them back, there was nothing we could do at that point. That's why I keep telling y'all, they keep giving the kids back to her who does not want them. So when they're back in the custodial parents' custody, then it's a longer process that has no, to be not. done, you which my mom was doing while she's in school. Nope. So y'all keep saying, oh, try to get the grandkids. She literally did. I was getting ready to drive her up there. But they told her, don't come. You're going to have to go to the court. Place. We can't tell you who they're with. Alexis said they're with her, or allegedly, or whatever. Go to court. So that's your situation. evidence. So now it's a longer process that we have to go through now that they're back in her custody. It's not. Allegedly. Listen, go file, get an attorney. Why y'all on here with over 330,000 subs on Nikki's channel? If y'all not even going to file, first of all, if you're not going to hire an attorney, File an emergency uh, hearing request with a, a petition for custody and a TPO if you need to. You got to go to court. You can't do this outside of court. And that's what she says. She's like, you know, this is what we have to do outside of court. Why would you want to do it outside of court? No, you want to do this in court because you already understand what you're dealing with. And you got the pattern of behavior of this mother constantly abandoning and neglecting and allegedly committed CA on the kids and all this other stuff. All, you know, all these other things they accuse her of. Just, I can understand the trauma that she's causing by neglecting and abandoning the children, doing a live stream, giving them the CPS and all this. These kids are going to want to watch these videos when they grow up and get older. They're going to watch all these videos. And somebody's going to have to explain to them why their mother kept putting them in and out of CPS care. Or why she was at risk of losing custody and all this other stuff. One day, they're going to find out the truth and see all these videos and all this stuff. So, you at this point, you should not want to do it outside of the court. Because you know what you're dealing with. Go to court, bro. Go to court. So that should clear that up for everyone who is you can, confused. You can file an emergency court order. Thank though. you. That's what we were doing. Thank you. I, do. I called several attorneys to help me do that. I even called the juvenile court. They have a file that I'm supposed to pick up today that I've been preparing for this interview. They prepared a file for me downtown for the temporary custody. But what I was hearing is that they needed to respond to a custody order to do an emergency custody, which are usually aren't granted, but they would do a temporary one. So I was trying to get that done and speaking with several attorneys to have that done. Um, I don't, no, you know, I, I don't know what to do. And when I called the, um, when I called the supervisor, the reason I'm telling you I don't know what to do is because their laws cover what it is. The, uh, Caseworker, I spoke with Christian, and I called them every single day since she dropped them off. Christian Cockrell, uh, she told me that, well, yes, you can file for custody, but if you get uh, temporary custody, we'll still be involved. I understand that. So I was doing all that, um, and the last call that I was able to reach them, the surprise called me because I made a complaint to client rights based on uh, the things that Cockrell said to me. She was how she was responding to me. Um, she called me back. And she told me that I can't tell you what's going on. And there's something that she said to me. I'm not going to say, uh, but she, she was very nice. But there's something she disclosed. She told oh. me that um, the kids, and this I'm not disclosing that. She told me that the kids don't have a case, that they didn't open a case. And that my grandson Johnny is not in the case. I said, well, how was he doing? And I explained to him the same way I did to you. Because of her threats, I haven't filed custody. 
I want my grandson with me. He's been with me most of his life. I love him, her my life, but I can't what do anything for him if I'm dead. So I'm trying to get things done for him so that when I do, or if I do have him, he's Did a, you just he's, do a TPO. He's not, we're not, you know, I get a TPO. My house and I use the body cam. And the most I'll use, and I told you, is a taser. But I don't, I don't ever want blood on my hands. He has no idea where I live. I have a three bedroom house and one of the best things in the whole backyard. It's all for my grandson. It's not for me. I don't need it. Right now, Alexis doesn't know where your mom lives. Your mom moved. No, I so it's, it's just, it's just going to be a never ending battle. Whole backyard. It's all for my grandson. It's not for me. I don't need a three bedroom house. Okay, Hold on. When you, when you file those time. papers, when, when you file that, then she'll be able to have the address. So what she's trying to tell y'all is. If no, you don't. Fine, you can do a TPO and, and say, say I don't feel safe disclosing my address. Week, nope. Can't know where my mom works. lives. So it's, it's just it's going to be a never-ending battle. That's what you're saying? Say no. Nope. You can file a TPO. Your mother can file a TPO against Alexis. And with that TPO, they will ask, is there any history of violence or threats or anything? Produce your evidence to show she's made threats against my life. To take my life. So I would rather you all not give out my address and have her served with either the county sheriff they, they live in or get you a process server to serve her. And your address will not be on those documents if you have enough evidence to prove that your life and, and, and safety is in jeopardy. The safety and the, and the well-being of the child is in jeopardy. And you know once she gets your address, knows where you live, she's going to come find you and do something to you physically to harm you. Get a TPO. Go to, go to court, bro. File a petition for a TPO. And then tell them you don't want to disclose your demographic. You don't want to disclose your number, your address, your email. None of that. And they won't do it. This is why y'all need an attorney to tell y'all these things because you're not, you don't understand that process and you're not stating accurately what you can do to avoid her getting your demographic information. A TPO will protect you from that and then you can get custody. Or if you get an attorney, they can do what they need to do to tell the court we have an issue with safety concerns here. She's made threats. We have evidence. We do not want my client's information to be displayed on any documents. We need it sealed or concealed to keep the uh, mother from getting this information because this grandmother is in fear of her life for her and the grandchild. And because of the history and the threats she's made, we're asking this court to conceal the, the uh, address, the phone number, email address, any identified information that would make it easier for the mother to find where the grandmother is, you know, and, and ask for a TPO to be granted. That way, you don't have to tell the mother where you are. It, even if she says, I want to see my child and I get visitation. Okay, well, we'll have a mediator, third party person, meet you at a McDonald's. And then you can go and, and, and we'll have this mediated person in between to pick the child up from the grandmother's house or the school and to stay there and supervise visitation. That means that someone will have to be there to watch her and supervise her while she has visitation with the child. Y'all, you can tell the court, we only want her to meet a, a mediator, a third person in between for supervised visitation. And it has to be in public. Take them to a McDonald's somewhere, let them play in the playground and, and eat, eat a meal. And then that person who's supervising the visitation, take the child back to the grandmother. And make sure the mother is nowhere near able to do that. But the grandmother can't go post this stuff up on Facebook. You posted the link to this live on Facebook and you're worried about your safety and concern. That has to be the dumbest thing ever. That was stupid to do, lady. Reverend Faith Cop, that was dumb to do. That was not smart. There was no wisdom in that. You should not have posted the link to this live stream and you're worried about your safety. 
You got to use wisdom. That's that wasn't even there was no logic in even doing that. Oh, so right now, Alexis doesn't know where your mom lived. Your mom moved. I, as far as far as we know, no. But if, if she, once she does those papers, she will. No, she will not. She has her. She has her. No, you will. Not. You can ask the court. So dealing with somebody no. who is not reasonable. And she's the type of person. Y'all don't even know what people. the court rules and policies are with that. Y'all like, told the court, bro. What, we're telling you, mom, you got to play the audio first saying that she was going to kill out. You need to play that. But the situation, this is not slander. To do, and I did let you know yes, that it is if you don't have evidence. The murder case, and it's totally separate from you can't all go here, stuff so. involving the baby. So now I have to go back through those things. I do have you know of her saying that she was going to kill him. She, Nikki is talking and they just talking over have, her. Uh, my stuff now you can have in my mail, and so you would have to ask me in my mail and on my uh, my drive and other. I have another cloud that I opened up to the police. You would have to ask me for what you need because I'm not following all the other messiness of her. Right. Mom, do you have her. the audio of her saying that she was going to kill him? And share and share why you feel how you feel and share why. You know, I, I just I didn't want you to get every detail. I just wanted you to get a couple of key things that prove your point. Just like maybe oh, I did. I, things that I did show you. Thing. I did show you the um, the message from did Shanice with the children telling people, exactly like, how that happened. I showed you the message. You don't need to know. You saw this here saying. Do this video. Are you able to get with my mom so you can actually clip some of these things? Cause it, it's overwhelming for my mom. But there's there's literally audio. I'm a lot just saying that she was going to kill him the day before he died. So, yeah, so they know it's going to be a good thing. Like, so because, like, when she's saying stuff, they're hearing it. I, I don't. Listen, 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 listen. This is not. Why didn't you all present that evidence in court to the prosecutor, the DA? Y'all have to understand that this is certain things that it, it can't even be used, it won't even be admissible. It has to be direct substantial evidence that even if it's circumstantial it can't be hearsay it can't be what you think is somebody on the phone she could easily say that's not me in that recording she could easily say it's her defense I, maybe that's the grandmother hiring somebody to say this and and and, and just say that it is me on the recording Unless it's a video, you can see her actually talking. You got an audio recording only of someone saying something. They can easily deny that it's them. Certain things won't even hold up in court. It won't be admissible. If it's too much doubt, criminal matters are about proving beyond a reasonable doubt. It is reasonable for someone to say, you got an audio recording, but you can't verify that to be me in the recording. That doesn't mean that because you hear somebody talk, it doesn't mean it's automatically me. You may have a million other women out there that sounds like her. The the, the vocal uh, uh, tone and shift, everything might be similar. The pattern, vocal patterns. That's what I was trying to say. Vocal patterns might be similar to hers. It's not going to be the exact same thing, but it might be similar. You, She could easily get in court and her attorney will say, Your Honor, they, they can't prove that this is my client in this audio. How do we know that that's not the grandmother putting somebody up to say this stuff in a recording and then they're bringing it in here like, oh, here's irrefutable proof. No, it can be disputed. She can just say that's not me. And y'all will have to go through the lens to prove that she's in this audio recording making this threat. And you can't. And if you do that, then you got to have witnesses to prove that she was they were there seeing her record this. <sighs> but they're like well it don't you know they, 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 they can't follow they can't follow i get it so mom yeah. that's what i'm trying to say Kinda. if you can at least find the audio I, I no we don't know no no, no no bro no no bro transcripts in it that's why i sent the screenshot so yes that that's legal that that's out there so this ain't slander y'all can look it up no it's because it's not validated her. Uh, it's not it's not it's not in the absolute evidence um, email that i sent to you and forwarded uh, a prosecutor holbrook giving him evidence same stuff we shared and beyond i was trying to i'm sure that the prosecutor text, said so nope, it's not gonna work on the links there's some links in there and then there are uh screenshots that are embedded 
in those emails, emails to Prosecutor Holbrook. They were also to Judge Paley and to her assistant, Mr. Lovejoy. He's the man that answered for her. I said that to her because she is the supervisor over the probation, and I was asking why they didn't uh, follow up on that. But they, they should have acted on it when she attacked him, when she menaced him, all these things. They should have acted on it and jailed her. Or, you know, at least they would have been able to do something. You got to charge her with something. Because Holbrook do. was refusing because he wanted to convict the person that was wrongly accused in Alex's case but had a real case on another end for other things. And so they, uh, she was convicted for the other things and they dropped the involuntary manslaughter. Uh, Bruce, my nephew, not enough was, evidence uh, he's to support my great nephew. His father is my nephew. My nephew, it added him to the case after they changed the story and he's also a supposed victim. But see, when Alexis told the story, she okay, no longer there. Just, if you could show us, cause we, cause right now it's like, kind of like becoming like a repeat so i kind of want you to like show because the people hear you and they've heard like what type of person she is yes. we know that we don't need to get that we don't need to be reminded um, of that every 28 evidence minutes. where she said the the video that your son was talking about or if your son could pull it up jonathan can you pull it up in audio, and I've been trying to find that. It's audio. audio. It's not video. She was so that's that not going to work. With somebody. She was really delusional here. And she called him and said, you are dead. I'm How do you know it's her? Apartment. And he told me, he said, I'm not going to leave her with How do you know it I'm was not her? Gonna come back you got to verify it was her. And, you know, he was worried. And I told him, look, I'll be here for both of you for the rest of my life. And, and the stepmothers and the rest of the family who they put it in the stepmothers. Nobody listened. Stop saying names. <laughs> Nobody okay, listened. Pause right there. So, Jonathan, she's um, not do you listening have the either. Audio? Reverend Faith the Chop is not listening. Yeah, I'm looking for it now. There, there's several text threads because this goes back four years ago. Oh my God, I don't want to go back four so, years ago. Yeah, they, they think you're making it up. Hmm? Well, stop over talking her. You know. In our gut, you know, we feel a certain type of way, but when you present the information, you know, if it, it validates if it, what you're saying, if you don't show like the supporting facts, then people kind of like get they kind of like fall off. So it's yeah, they, they, they think you're making it up. Yeah, because that's how that works. What was that? No, I'm sorry. I was agreeing with you. They they think you made it up, and so that's why I'm trying to help, trying to find it too. Now that you can't play an audio. Make sure that that's not irrefutable myself. proof. I, no, ma'am. I, I can do that, but what you've already seen regarding what the boys. Well, said, I can do that, but the evidence as well. So it's like, so that's why I was it's a public court. To, you know, if that one. No, it's not. I have a huge database. I have to organize. I'm creating a timeline on Money.com and. Uh, doing the evidence up under the timeline. And so now that I've said this on here, I definitely make sure that I'm protecting myself. Um, I, I could do that, but what you've already seen regarding what the boys said, she just uh, dismissed the, the video of what the boys said, everything. if you go it's to my Facebook page at Faith Talk, you're not getting any results uh, on Facebook, like this. you'll see it pinned. I keep it pinned there for the police and they're tagged there. You can hear what the little boy is saying about what he saw his mother do. So I showed you what the uh, Shanice had typed to me after that happened, thank you. Stop the accusation. Do y'all see I, this comment? Just joined. Did the family reach out to CPS for an emergency kinship placement? Don't need lawyer for kinship. Stop the accusations. Get the babies. Hallelujah and amen. 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 Shared it with both you oh, and your assistant. I'm, the I feel good knowing Facebook I'm not the only one that feels good. She sent to me while my son She's was so much more calm than I am. I and again, like so the Chuck E. Cheese thing on the ninth, he took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese. Then he spent time with Nikki, his Nikki, read the comments. Nikki, read the comment. I, I hope I did. If Nikki, I did, please I read that, that comment. It's a picture with no scratches. And Nikki, uh, please read that comment. When he died. He had all the scratches on his face. His, his, his lips were swollen. Nikki, please use this comment. On that other picture. It, it's a whole different scene. He stopped to see his cousins. He also, all the food, cooked. He didn't report this, but he, oh he was God. trying to see please, all the Please, Nikki, so read that was comment. A bit and she broke. I don't like her. Yes. Everything like that. So right now, the people, I understand that, but 
again, you know, the people they they because we've already heard about her character yes. and everything like Stop that. Stop so attacking right her now, character. People kind of want to see like how you got to the point where you got to. I think we can all tell she's the evidence from that the, um, you have video um, she did on your end. giving up her children. Okay. Well, that evidence that we already showed you was enough. You know that that right there is incriminating all by itself. And no, it's, it's not. That we have to go all around. No, the it's not. To Many prosecutors and DAs would disagree with you, Reverend Faith Cobb. Now, there is a young man. Let's call him S. He's a f they went looking for my son's pink lighter. You get in your car. Did they know? This is how get the kids. They both started calling that he was there. And brought eight phones out of your son. Just confiscated eight phones from your anyone else to call me. Because she had for about a week the call she that deal with this uh, for he three was hours. in a document. That, no, he didn't. He did about him doing an improper invest FBI and all these people. They didn't confiscate her, confiscate her stuff. If the FBI because it, you got to have evidence to do that. Online threats made to me. Stop. All right. So at the end of the day, I, I um oh god, I told you I only first started like the first thirty minutes. I've been fast forwarding this, and I'm hitting two hours on my video. Um, you you got to have evidence, lady. Even the circumstantial evidence must be overwhelming. It, it has to be beyond a reasonable doubt. What would the average person think if they were to read those text messages, hear the audio? What kind of defense could she come up with? That's how you have to think about this. The way you're going about doing this, talking about it's incriminating. No, it's not. No, it's not. What someone said is hearsay. Your son knows how to use the term moot. So hopefully he defines it later and understand the concept. And everything else, you got to have evidence. You can't say this is an audio recording and this, that, and the third. You can't see the person visually talking. And the girl clearly has no issue with going on the live stream and giving her children over to CPS. So I can guarantee you, like, if she wanted to be live and say something to somebody, she can go and hop on the live stream and put herself on camera and say it. She's done, like, the ultimate thing shy of someone take be taken away out of here by her hands on live stream that's gave away her children a cps i don't think her being on camera is an issue for her so the recording is not it's not very substantial it, it will be different if it's like a 911 operator call you know that's one thing but just an audio recording coming from someone's phone even if they use her phone you can't just say what well, is her phone, so it must be her. See, this is the stuff that prosecutors have to prove when they go to court on a homicide investigation. I don't care if it's homicide, first degree, second degree, involuntary manslaughter. Don't care what it is. This is the stuff that the state would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. And if she comes in with her attorney, public defender, what I was saying, that's not me in that recording. That's not me at all. I didn't make that recording. I didn't even have my phone. Somebody was using my files with someone that made that call and they did that. Or someone made a call and it showed up with my number. However, it, it, she has, she can simply just say, I did not make that call to him despite it coming from my number. If it did, because I was with three or four other people, they could have easily did that. The grandmother could have sliced some calls together. And it made it seem like when I, when my number showed up on his phone, that's when I made the threat. She could have put something together and did that. Like there's so many defenses to that, that would be, that would bring doubt into that accusation. And unless you see her on video making the call and saying those things, or she just admits to it, or there are enough credible witnesses to say, I was with her when I saw her call him. And I heard her saying this stuff out of her mouth. And they're willing to testify against her in court. You don't have incriminating evidence. You don't even have evidence that will help prove beyond a reasonable doubt. I reported oh, to God, them. Bro. I reported these things also to Detective Hughes. And when she stopped and harassed me just before she decided. Can you tell case, us how you're going to get your grandson, please? I didn't hear back from them. I told you about that and how it's got to be used. An appropriate address, probably their own. Is somebody in jail for your son's passing, correct? No. No, they couldn't convict her because 
She didn't kill him. So they dropped the charges on that. They convicted her for herself to Maurice. They couldn't prove they that she did a homicide. Just committed a homicide. They can't prove herself, it because there's no uh, evidence. He, okay. They all say he sells. You can say what you want to say about what somebody said and your assumptions, but that's not that actual what evidence. My mom was trying to say. I'm not completely 100%. It was but dropped. she wasn't convicted. No, she, it, it was dropped. Um, like I said, they said okay, that. Wait, 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 wait. One second, one second. Slow down. Okay. So you, when your son passed away, there was somebody who got arrested, but they the charges were dropped. Just just tell me that part, yes. and I'm asking. They were, dropped, they were dropped twice. They tried uh, convicting oh her my twice. God. The grand jury didn't. Um, they didn't approve it, so it didn't go anywhere. And while I was still trying to give they them information, it. they didn't give a they ruling. Arrested her again, and it didn't go anywhere. It went as far as whatever activity she lived across the street from. And, it didn't go um, anywhere because they didn't have enough evidence to, to uh, actually find her guilty her. of yeah, murder. Because they were trying to, they they were trying to put it. That whatever activity that they she did in her life, they convicted her for those things. But yeah, because there's son, evidence for that. They dropped the case. There's, there's just no, no evidence. prosecution for that. And again, had Reese or Reese. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. So, what did they tell you when they originally arrested her? Why? Did, what did they say? And I'm the asking Jonathan, was. Mom, because you kind of go on a tangent. So wait, wait, wait one second, because I know you're passionate. But I want to, I want to get a clear, a answer. clear answer, Jonathan. So when the the woman was arrested, what did they tell you guys she was arrested for? Exactly. Was okay, that, that's what I want to clear up. So keep in mind, they didn't the investigate because. Alexis said she did it. They didn't investigate it as a homicide. They investigated it as an overdose. Because of that. Because that's what the coroner ruled it as. Her as that's what's killer. on the death certificate. So that's why she was implicated as the killer by proxy. Because they said that she was the one that sold the drugs that was found in his system. Okay. Does that make sense? So she was the she one was who sold it to that and they dismissed So at it. no point did the... No, 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 no. She didn't sell it to him. Yeah, yeah, she no, 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 no. Yeah, gotta clear that up. She didn't sell it to him, but whatever was found in his system, the people who were around who or whatever sold it was, to him? um, she was the one that sold it. Whatever was found in his system was from was traced back to her. What? How? Okay, so how did your how did your brother get it? He did. They gave it to him. him. Who? Yeah. He didn't get it. And the crazy what? thing was. Really, wait, wait, wait no, he's wait, saying wait, wait, they wait, gave it to him. You're, you're he saying he didn't get it, and it's going in and out. And we can hear Jonathan a little bit more clearly. So I yeah. just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, talk to Jonathan real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is how I got in the system. Keep in mind, the first time I don't, I don't know. The question is, who gave it to him? The screenshots and everything. But however, they gave it to him the first time. They gave it to him the second time. What they do? The Lace his drink. Happened, and that's why my mom is so they ruled the death as a as an overdose. You know I get that, but hold on, wait, pause. Okay, because this part, because this part is important. Okay. Okay. So they had an investigation of the girl that sold it. Okay. So when yeah. you say they, I don't want you to say names. What are you? Who? Who is they? To him, not saying their name in relation to who? 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 Were, were they his what friends? What are his relationship to the son? Like, who are they Cousin, without saying their names? A group of the same. Every last person's you name. Friends, relatives. I mean, I'll just, I'll say this because she, she said it herself. I mean, I'm not really going to say allegedly because, I mean, she said it herself. No, you have to say allegedly because you don't have any evidence. Presumably, Alexis. No, no, bro. Poison them. Keep in mind, she said... You, but that's time, not what that's, the coroner ruled on the death certificate. It was an overdose. The death was ruled as an overdose. She the job done, or Tina, or whoever it was. The time he's with people, and people are putting things in his alcohol? Yes. Yeah. There's only one man in the room. As a her, I'm just going to be honest. It. That sounds like something that he probably 
I don't know. That don't. He, he's not gonna put. And I think he's not gonna put. And, and to be, he's not gonna put fentanyl on his own alcohol. And it's like he, everybody drinks. Like I mean, is it not his fault? He didn't do this to himself. Like yeah, it was in a toxic relationship, but he didn't do this. You to can't himself. say like, she did so, it either. I, mean, I get it, and it's reasonable you know to ask these follow up questions. But it's it is like he didn't do it to himself. Everybody would he ask these follow up questions. None of this stuff. Yeah, makes he was sense. drinking over the alcohol, but he didn't put that in his own. Like who would do that? No one would poison themselves, but it doesn't mean he wasn't like, taking fentanyl. Y'all can't, can't say he wasn't doing drugs like, either. Nobody who dies off fentanyl is per like, well, majority of the people who have passed away from fentanyl, they didn't pass away purposely thinking that this is the pill or this is the the one that's going to do it. Sometimes he wouldn't take it as drugs. He was trying. He was trying to stay straight. He was in college. He just started college. Okay, but you're defending him. He did drugs. Got it. He didn't do it to himself. So the reason why it was important for me to mention why he was on probation, trying to answer all these questions, is... Y'all tell him on the live. You don't want to answer questions. You don't get to defend without answering questions. So if he was doing these tests and they weren't finding drugs in the system, how is it he goes all these years on probation? He's literally just a week ago got tested and now all of a sudden... He goes off the deep end and just starts taking a bunch of fentanyl. It just doesn't make sense. Because fentanyl doesn't I'm stay in the system the that long. So people understand that when Alexis said, hey, next time, she literally, if you read between the lines, she's saying that she had the girl that he was with or whatever the situation was, put that in his drink. If you read between the lines, she's saying that. I don't know if you got the message. I think my mom sent it to you. She's we don't that. read between that's lines. Like, that doesn't like fly in court either, bro. That's new. It's moot. It's not even alleged. She's saying it as well. No, it she's is alleged because you don't have evidence. That one. Hold a on court one has second. not found her guilty. Yeah, she's, she's saying it herself. It don't matter. She just hit my mom up from a burner account last week. So, like, Alexis is doing even if she said it herself, how do you know she's not being coerced or pressured to do this? This is how you have to think about these things when it comes to. You know, hopping on a live on a live platform, a public platform, and then saying this stuff. You got to think what of all the defenses that the 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 defense the defendant could come up with that could bring any level of doubt, reasonable doubt, into the accusation, especially when you don't have evidence. When did she? How do you all know she said this? Do you have her own video? Is this an interrogation video out there where she said this to a detective? That's the thing. You can't just say what well, she said it herself. Based on who or what? Did she tell this to the police and they put in a police report? Was this in an interrogation video? Based on what? How did you come to the knowledge of her saying this herself? You can't just say it was in a phone call. She could easily go in and say, well, that, that wasn't me in the recording. That solves that problem. That wasn't me in the recording. They can't prove that I was the one that made that call and did that recording. That could be anybody. That could be the brother having some female do that. That could be the other brother having another female do that. That could be, you know, somebody that might just have a gripe against it. That, that could be any female or they could have clicked those audio recordings together. I mean, it's, I'm saying this because... If you don't think outside the box and think about all the defenses that she could possibly come up with, you're going to sit out here and look crazy saying that this is all facts. And no, it's not. That's why the charge was dismissed because it was not enough evidence to prosecute and, in, and, and convict her of any charge related to involuntary manslaughter, homicide, or any sort. The coroner didn't even deem this as a homicide. It was ruled as an overdose. And I said that early in my video. What's on the death certificate? It's overdose. That's what the coroner ruled the death as. So you can't pursue a homicide when the coroner's evidence doesn't even line up with the autopsy. Based on what you're saying. You can't say somebody has to be charged with homicide when the coroner did an autopsy and said, based on what my medical expertise is and my autopsy and what I've done and my research and years of, you know, working in this field and, you know, uh, uh, evidence in previous cases, case law, whatever. I'm going to rule this death as an overdose. Maybe he was doing the drug himself and he waited to after he had to do the drug test for probation 
to do the drug again and just didn't anticipate the amount. Y'all don't have irrefutable proof beyond a reasonable doubt that shows that there was definitely a homicide involved and that she's definitely the person that committed it. Because the defense is going to poke holes in all this nonsense y'all doing. That's why there's no case. That's why she's not in jail for it. You could poke holes in this all day and the prosecutor will walk into a courtroom and I promise you, since him and his mother don't understand things about, about any legal procedure at all, the judge will be pissed off if the state tried to produce a case based on this stuff they got and say this is irrefutable evidence. That judge probably would tell that that prosecutor or DA if you do not dismiss this case I'm going to recommend that you lose your bar license and I'm going to cite you and, and hold you in contempt of my court for even wasting our time with this because that's how that works the judge will not even be happy with somebody levering the, the state levering this type of case up and you, you don't even have good circumstantial evidence, let alone evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. It would just be an, an embarrassment. Oh, she's making herself up. It was her from the from the burner account. How do you know Justin, that? Is that it's um Justice Burrell. She used that to harass another girl right after my son died. But how do you know it's her? her? Then they changed her story to this other person. The rest that I knew before. They how said, do you know it's her? Wait one second. Because people, when you start giving them extra details, they get yes. they get lost. So that's why you got to be they, very they, specific. Okay, they arrested her a second okay, time. Okay, okay. And they. You, know, you they keep doing it on her because she didn't do it. They got her to say that she sold Maurice and Alex. She remember, there was no cocaine that very clear to the oh, God. They got, they got, is this one right here where she said you should? What happened? You like, don't need that. None of that so matters. With her, that that me, would not land in court. Concerned. It will not be admissible. Nope. that she had something to do with what he was telling. She, it's a, no a, a fair question. Someone says, if the same people were around him the first time he overdosed and the second time, why aren't they blamed? Oh, they, they are. They oh, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're oh, close friends. They're close friends Y'all wanted Alexis, to be Alexis so bad, and you are cl Alexis, it's clouding your judgment. Jonathan, they're not anymore. They're not associated with her anymore. They were at the time. It doesn't matter. But he didn't spend so all that time. Why are you focus more on Why are y'all focusing on Alexis? I understand these messages, mm -hmm. but... But it's not going to hold up in court. If you oh, can because she's, cause she's taunting my mom and she's literally saying... Doesn't she matter. Did. Doesn't mean that she committed Jonathan, homicide. Jonathan, could you wait a second? They are the underlying story under the whole thing. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear it. Son, he's now about I don't want to hear I don't want to hear I don't want to hear Were there after. You're saying that she convinced them to be a part of this or how no i'm saying that they may have convinced her they made a threat on my son's life and dd a man named dd he actually jumped on alex prior to this and alex is closed all his friends? that no what? he's a relative he's not a close relative he's a he's a relative by virtue of my nephew having delayed his mother and he and don't even have to give the initials. Just tell us, like, the relationship to the him? person, the well, relationship to your son. What? Because DD D, D also threatened my son. They're they, extended family. They're extended. I was they're like family. extended family. family. Okay. Like great family members. Like great well, family members. Are, she's family. not even listening. Are the people that was there the yes. before Alexis entered the picture and afterwards that that made threats to his life as well? Yes, and the, he didn't spend time around them. There's a big distance between. He brought it doesn't another, matter. If he did drugs, it don't way. matter. And Alex, he went by. She don't even want to admit her son did drugs. He did that again for them as a group of people. I even saw when I went in his system. Okay, as, as, as a listener, you put in everything. Like, your son was grown at the same time. Son. I know you're grieving, and I, and I want to be delicate with you because this is a sensitive matter. But he was. He was grown. He's a grown yeah, he adult. Was to fit in. I'm just telling you the story. I'm not making excuses yeah. for him. He was. And so let, let me just, I, I just want to say this. So yes, and you're 100% right. 
Um, he's a grown adult. Grown I've had these conversations with him, and he, he did drugs. To the extent of him being in a toxic relationship, that was his choice at the end of the day. But there was a kid involved, and they couldn't change that. So what I do want to say, um, obviously, hopefully, you can get all the receipts clipped up and post. No, I would not post any of that stuff up. It won't make sense once they see it. It it won't make sense. What I want to say about Alexis is this. It does not change what she has said on her own. It does not change the fact that she's an unfit mother. Does not change the fact that she's violent. Does not change the fact that she literally made a viral video showing y'all how unfit she is as a mother. More reasons why y'all should get custody. Listening, the cops aren't listening. There's so many different moving parts. Y'all involved. not even file a petition and to again, get custody. To I don't understand. Give, give him an attorney. Man, he made the choice to be with her. All of this and that. Hi, an attorney, bro. <laughs> he's Hi, an attorney. The reason why he's dead. And again, as the receipts, some of the receipts have shown, and there's more. No, to come. it's not receipts. Those are not She's receipts. She's trying to make the point clear that this is the type of person that she is. We know that. So. I, just to let y'all know, she is what she is. Yes. She shouldn't have her kids. No. They want to, in this state, they they think they're doing the right thing by keeping their children with their parent, but they're really not. No. This is so file a petition. The world stage. And so everybody For sees custody. this as drama. There's so much information and all of this other stuff. But y- y'all got to remember that there are real lives involved. My mom did. We, we are trying course. to do that, that's but y'all can't just present text messages and name drop people like that's supposed to be evidence. I head and start doing custody. I'm fighting a demon called Alexis Wright. I will be fine, twins and all that. I'm not trying to get in all of that. But if I have to protect myself, I am committed to God. I do want to forgive her. But that is TPS. I told my children. Even the kids. Uh, you to think see. that she's going to give you that much pushback to have him if you... If you have his best interest at heart and she can't do it right now. Yes, because she I'll wants to him. fight my mom. I'll take him. As long as she doesn't do me like my son and try to kill me, because that's what happened. He was with my son. I'll take him. I, my house is actually for my grandson. I have him, and it's beautiful. It has pictures of the work he did, all that stuff. That's this place is for my grandson. Okay, we, we, but we I have it. to give you your son's murder File a and get his justice for custody. For him. This is just a summary that get I get an that attorney. I'm yes, I'm listening to you. You feel like if you focus in on your son's murder or alleged murder, because I have to say allegedly, they have to say allegedly because there's no evidence to prove now, a homicide. You know what you know, and you the have the, the is proof overdose. to back That's it up. It. It's alleged. So you've seen it and the coroner ruled it as overdose. If you haven't listened, it's in that email and I can send it again. Wait, 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 it's wait, wait, one, second, one second. One second, Faith. One second. Yeah. Stop but talking, what lady. What is you? I'm not used to young people calling me Faith, and I, I teach what? my kids to address elders as elders. If you don't want to call me Reverend, call me Miss. But don't. Don't please don't call me Faith. Even the people that do the mystery oh, thing, I've been that's not you that the whole time. So I, my bad. Okay. I was trying to. I was kindly allowing that, and I'm asking it's you. It's her platform. I'm an elder. I'm, I'm not on the same level as young people. I'm an elder, and it's either Miss Cobb or Miss Cobb. Either way, you like it, but I think you know that that's what you need to do. What the okay. heck is going well, on? Gonna, I, 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 don't, I don't want it to be, to be to give a summary of what I gathered respectfully, yes. but I don't want to offend you. I don't want to mistakenly, because I've been calling you that the whole time. Yeah, I, 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 was just, just, I, just, I know that so it's what? triggering. Why are you, you making an issue about um, that? So I'm going to just end the interview here. And I do appreciate you coming on. I, yes. I do appreciate you speaking with me. And I hope that you do. Get uh, justice for your son. But right now, Thank you, you were asking me a question about him coming home. Now, like I said, it's a calculated thing in terms of how I handle this because you keep why you send keep my talking. grandson here. I'll be glad to take him. That's the reason why I called TPS. Go file the petition and for custody. Come get an attorney. Then they had everything arranged. I started contacting attorneys so that they could hire one temporary custody because I don't want him in CPS like that. And yes, my son is. Mingle with certain other family members, and but the fact is, is that he was killed. No, he wasn't. He did an overdose. I'm, like I can only be real when I'm talking to people, or, or I don't mean to um, offend you. I know that your you your emotions are very high, and I don't because when I'm like I can only be real when I'm talking to people, or, or what I receive, or what I'm listening. You know, and I don't want to be. You're used to calling. 
Elder Spade, you go right ahead. I'm comfortable. I'm just letting you know, though. My, I have a child. That what are you talking about? Like, Why you keep I, making I, that I, an I issue? Differently, and they show respect to people. What? Yeah, it has. I don't think it, Nick. I don't think it has anything to do with you. Emotions are high. You've been very respectful, very patient, and my yes. mom knows that as well. It's just, it's, you know, emotions are are really high right now. Like you, you've been wonderful and beautiful. So I just want you to know yes, that. Yeah. And you, you're very empathetic to the situation. So you know what it is. So yes, please don't take any. Offense. Well, it doesn't give your mother an excuse to be rude to her. It does not. Thing. And like I said, my mother she was born in 1922. No, I, no. No. By themselves. No. And no. Abraham, even though he was after his own heart because he had blood on his hand. This is a taser. I use a taser and I did with a gun. Her, it's way all these different people. Yeah, yeah, he, she's Probably still going on and on. She's a control so freak. We, we have a group. That, the CPD doesn't even have jurisdiction over the murder. It would be tempting to say was what it sounds like to me is because you feel like she's a dangerous person and because you feel like this is what happened via your son through her yes. Yes. in your in your head your psyche the way that you're processing it you feel like you the most important thing right now for you to do is to put her behind bars and then get your grandson later that's that's not how, how that works lives. no I, ma'am I don't want her lives in jeopardy I don't want to have to defend myself get a TPO that I have no part of because I live a peaceful Faith. life Get a TPO, face. I do peaceful Get things. Get a TPO. I study. File a petition for TPO. You study and everything but laws. Look, I meditate the, without a Get charge. a TPO. Hire an attorney. Person, we you know study a wasn't. whole lot of things except what you need to study right now to get your grandson. Okay. Have um, I don't posted know what already here. on your I'll page. Give, and I'll give the link to you. Just a minute. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the chat box here or send it to you. Okay, um, want me to send it to you? Yeah, you can put it in the private the private chat and then I could I could put it on the public chat. Okay, it's a long link here. Uh, who, oh, God, please. I misunderstood. I'm sorry about that. I can, uh, if I can delete it, I will. Hopefully this brings awareness to her character. Things that she we already is know her character from she's her criminal, video. She's admitted to it. All of these things. She didn't admit it. All right. So if you guys want to go to her page, um, the other pages are linked as well in there. And if you go, if you look her up on uh, Facebook, you'll be able to see her other receipts. She does have receipts on her that I have not. Um, that I did not share. Those who see are not admissible in court, Nikki. As well. So with that being said, okay, so admissible. she put the link in this chat. So let me put the link also directly to her, uh, get some peace within this because I know that when you have a death and you got some unsettled business, it can really, really, really like, you know, keep you on edge and things like that. So hopefully She's at some point, you get a resolution that kind of brings some resolution in her danger mind. involved when a person uh, danger involved when a person is constantly stalking, harassing, and threatening people, and that you know it take it to court and get a TPO. I made a phone call to the supervisor. I called open the case. Can we be done with this? Therapy before and think about it. Because justice is involved. And Sir Johnson, we they took a class for this. Let you assume how much she talks. People who have gone through something traumatic. And asking if they have seek counseling because it is very important. Yes. I'm Every a reverend. Single I'm, I'm, I'm a reverend. And I, I, I'm a reverend and I do the counseling. Time who have had and I'm good. And I ask all the time because a lot of times we think that we are okay. Okay, we and we're not. We're and clearly she's things. not. And sometimes you need grief counseling. Grief Faith. counseling, or we talk to somebody. Faith else, needs grief counseling. Kind of can help us. Mitigate some of our feelings. Ooh, Lord. I talk to God. I talk to God. I, talk to God. I don't want to argue. I to the one. Yes, I talk to the one that showed me what happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna bring you down, and I'm going to end the the interview. I don't, I don't want to keep going back and forth. Um, but oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end on that note. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. Um, grief counseling wow. is something that I ask everybody. I don't. Everybody gets asked that. Even yeah, if I have a difference of opinion, I don't 
You know, me, y'all know my platform. Oh. I'm not here to embarrass nobody. I don't, right. but, you know, every time that I'm listening, I don't agree with everything I listen to, but I, my point is not to offend any of my guests, no matter how, if I, if I believe or not believe or agree or disagree, I think that the receipts that she has, I understand why she feels like something happened to her son. If somebody sent my son something saying that you, um, you know, I'm going to get you next time. And, and they sent my son some of those things. Us as an audience, we might feel like, mm-hmm. you know, it could be taken as trash talk. But I understand that being mm-hmm. her son and her feeling that way. However, I still have other questions, you know, and other opinions. And I don't try yeah, to offend nobody. You don't have to so agree with that being down said, the line. I'm going to end the live. Thank you guys for coming um, out. I will see you guys next time. Um and that's that, y'all. Y'all, this girl got the patience of a dove. She got the patience of a dove. Girl, Nikki. Ooh, child. I, I, I've I, never, you know, this. she's been on her platform for a long time. And from one YouTuber to another. God bless you, honey. <laughs> I would not have lasted that long. That would have irritated me to no avail. But I want to get to this comment she left. And I can understand. I, I literally can tell the frustration from the first three minutes of this interview. And I, I after hearing it earlier today, this morning when I was dropping my children off at school, I was listening to it. And I got like 30 minutes in. And I was like, this is a headache. And I just foresaw it going down that path. Let me tell you all something. I am a Christian as well. And just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you get to be disrespectful. Just because you're a certain age and you have a certain title in front of your name does not give you ju- the, the justification to be rude or disrespectful or demanding or narcissistic, over-talking. And then you're sitting here, you're not letting her finish the questions. You don't want to answer certain questions. You want just people to believe what you're saying. And here's guess what, Faith? The DA didn't because it's not credible. It's not beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not even to be mean. It's just the reality that we're in. We're in this reality where everybody else is. This is how, this is what happens. This is how homicide investigations go. You could give a 10 minute recording. What would it matter if they go in and the defense goes in and says, that's not me in that recording. Well, what would it matter? If you can't prove that that was her recording herself on that message, it doesn't matter. She could go in and say, that's not me. And you cannot play with people's liberty and freedom here. In the U.S., you can't do that. You can't say, I want this person to jail because they left me a threatening message. And I want them charged for homicide. You can't do that. It's not how our justice system works. There are times where people should go to jail for many, many things. But there are times where the justice system, it, it, I mean, it should always be 100% of the time where the justice system has evidence and they're incarcerating people because the evidence led to that point. And the jury or the judge gave a ruling based on the evidence and it was objective. And it was beyond a reasonable doubt in a criminal matter. But the punishment has to fit the crime and the crime has to be proven with evidence. You can't just say she did it because of a Facebook post or an audio where you don't see her face. She doesn't identify herself. She, you can't do that. That's not how it works, Faith Cobb. And you're more hung up on someone calling you a certain title then you are about being respectful to the person that let you come on her platform for three hours and run off tangent, drop names, and make accusations that can be defamatory. Your son is not an attorney. Just because he can say moot does not mean anything. You need to read a law book, sir. Y'all need to call an attorney and hire one. You don't even want to file a petition to get custody right now. We're really not interested in all the other stuff because we're concerned about these kids. My heart goes out to anybody that's lost a child. My Lord, I cannot comprehend it. 
But there's a reason why you got to do things in decency and in order. There's a way to cry for help. To where you're not off, put, off standish and putting people off. And, and this three hour video, I mean, I'm sure Nikki has some, some audiences out there that might watch the whole thing. All of it. I, I couldn't get past 30 minutes because it was making my head hurt. I wanted to do this because I know this comment here, you know, more than likely she's going to take this video down. And I don't think it's, you know, I, I wouldn't, but I don't think it's also fair to Nikki after doing this three hour video. It's not fair to you, Nikki, putting time and effort into this interview. You prepped her for this based on what I've read so far. And if you guys can read this, this is Nikki at night. You know, I don't think it would be right to just take this down after three hours of this. And she's going to go out and bash and say, oh, well, this is what, you know, um, did, she did this and she was ambushed. She was rude. She was this. No, here's a video to prove it. Respect is earned. Jesus never walked this earth talking about call me reverend. It's not even a, a biblical uh, uh, or a, a title in the Bible. You will not find the term reverend in the Bible referring to a title. In the Bible, it's used as a, a, almost an adjective. Reverend being respectable. So when you put that title in front of your name as reverend, you understand that it comes with you having a matter of respect as well and wanting people to respect you. Because I can tell you how many times that word comes up in the Bible. I think it's once and it was never used as a title. Jesus didn't even call himself that. So I don't know where we as mankind got these titles from, but just because you decide to put title in uh, a title like that in front of your name does not mean that you get to disrespect someone and then demand respect because they're not believing the stuff you're saying and you're over talking and you're repeating yourself. You're doing all this stuff and no one understands or, or is following you. And then you get to the end of that three hour interview. And all you can talk about is no one calls me faith and all this. You, you're pushing people away. You're going to cause people to not want to care about anything that's going on. And honestly, I care about the child. And you didn't say anything that, that even alluded to the idea that you're literally fighting to get them. You called some people. You got some advice. Oh, it's not going to work because she's who she is. That's why you go to court, bro. That's why you go to court, Faith. Because at the end of the day, if it was two parents fighting for custody, we would have to go to court. I know because I'm going through it. And as irritating and frustrating as it may be, the trauma behind the child and what he might be exposed to could be worse. It's worth it to go to court and fight the right way. Hire an attorney. Go get you a loan. Start a GoFundMe or something. If you haven't put enough distaste in people's mouths where you can start a GoFundMe and get some help financially for it, you're a reverend. Go to your church. Ask them to give you some money to hire an attorney. Or go to your church and just ask people Who's an attorney here? Because I need a, a, a legal representation for a civil matter to get custody of my grandson. You call yourself a reverend. Obviously, you're attached to somebody's church. Why don't you go to your church and then ask one of the members there that might be an attorney to help you out? They might do it pro bono. But the way you're going about it is all wrong, and it's going to push a lot of people away. No, ma'am. Okay, so this is Nikki at night's nice message. Um... She stated, after 24 to 48 hours, I will be taking this video down, exclamation point. I understand she is grieving and do not feel she presented her case in the best light. I would have taken it right down, but she is lying and slandering me, saying, I set her up, making it seem like I ambushed her, which I did not. She didn't. She gave you an opportunity to come on her platform where at least 330,000 people will see this video. Before I even started this live, it was delayed for 30 minutes because I was allowing her to test out the share your screen feature so that she could share all of the supporting documents to go along with her claims. Also, before the interview, I told her my rules about doxing people and my desire for her to not say the other children's name or private info. 
In this interview, she disregarded everything she did. I told her. I spoke with her several times and told her I wanted her to feel comfortable. I wanted her to be able to tell her story, but I made it clear. It had to be from the beginning, then stop the story to at the end. If you jump around a story, people like people will not be able to follow. When I talked to her on the phone, she would jump around the story. So I told her the format ahead of time. She said she had all the supporting docs and will be able to show them as they came up in the interview. I was not able to fully conduct it from starting at the start of at the start of the story and ending at the end because it just went left. Yeah, it did. But again, I will be taking this down, but only after y'all see I did not lead with malice or ill intentions. She didn't. Before she interviewed with me, she told another woman she wanted to her, she told me, I'm sorry, okay. Before she interviewed with me, she told me another woman wanted her to do a surprise ambush on Alexis that another lady told her she would interview Alexis and surprise bring her up. I told her that she could speak to whoever she wanted, but be mindful of turning things messy because she was willing to ambush Alexis with another interviewer is the only reason I asked if she wanted me to bring her up. When she stated she didn't want me to bring her up, I respected her wishes and didn't. But I wanted to make that part very clear because she is lying and I have all the phone calls recorded to prove myself further if I need to. I do not wish to make this a bigger deal than it needs to, to do to than it needs to so I will take this down but I want to give y'all a day to see it for yourself that I did not have no ill intentions for this woman let me tell y'all something right now this isn't easy to do when you have a platform this large you're trying to interview someone that is re just really emotional and you can tell she's been trying to get her story out there Honestly, she would be better off doing her own series of videos and just posting it up as opposed to going on other people's platforms and then coming with all this stuff and get mad because someone didn't call her reverend. You should do your own videos then. Get your son to come to your house, set up a Zoom or set up videos for you to record your story, your side, Present what you think you have as evidence and then post them up yourself on your Facebook. Because I don't I don't think that Faith Cobb needs to go on anyone else's platform right now. That would not be conducive to anyone. It's a headache. You, you need to go on your own platform and do your own videos. And honestly, until you show that you're trying to get your grandson i don't think most people would be interested in all the other things that you're saying because it's slanderous to an extent and you're falsely accusing people of homicide and of being drunk and of being you know messy and you know you're you're bringing these text messages and, and posts and all this stuff in you post a link to this live stream and you should never have never have done that and it brought in messiness because you posted that link and no one gave you permission to do it, Faith Cop. No one told you to post that up on Facebook for your son's friends to hop on. You could have just said, hey, I'm going to be on this YouTuber's channel doing an interview. Why don't you all check it out and then go in and if you all want, you could probably subscribe and then post a comment up in the comment section and say, hey, I'm I'm so and so's I'm I'm the son's friend. Do you mind if I come in? She should have did. That's how that should have worked and and should have went. And Nikki was gracious enough to not end the, the the live stream when you said you posted up Faith Cop on your Facebook page the link to that live stream. She could have ended that live stream right then and there. Nikki did not have to give you two additional hours 
in 30 minutes after you admitted to posting the live stream link on your Facebook page. And then you want to turn around and slander her and say she was ambushing you? No, she just didn't believe everything you said. And most people wouldn't because the average person can read what it means to have substantial evidence to accuse someone of homicide and you just don't have it. That's why the prosecutor could not sue homicide. The coroner did not rule your son's death as a homicide. It was ruled as an overdose. And you've got to be honest with yourself about what your son did. And you can still grieve and mourn. You need counseling. You need to go cry on someone's couch three times a week, minimum. You need grief counseling. God wants you to get counseling. He puts people here on earth for us to connect with. And honestly, if you didn't feel like you needed to connect with other human beings and to release all of that frustration and all the things you've been carrying and holding inside, you would not have gone on three hours on this platform in this interview, venting and going on a tangent and going on and on like the way you did. If you, Faith Card, don't believe that you need counseling, this interview should have been no more than an hour. And you certainly would not have posted the live stream link. You went on and vented the way you did, and you were so desperate to try to link this up as a homicide to Alexis in a three-hour interview because mostly because you feel like no one's hurt you so far. The prosecutor or the DA has failed to pursue this as a homicide because there's no evidence. You have family members you said you don't trust. You have friends that you feel like you can't trust. The, the, the child's mother is out here doing videos, sending the kids over to CPS. You're telling people you want your grandson, but then you go on all this other tangent about Something that happened in 2014, 10 years ago. You don't want to just admit my son was not perfect, but yes, he did do drugs. I can't say if he took fentanyl or not on his own or if he was laced with it or how that went down because I wasn't there. But one thing I do know is that he was trying to do better. You leave it at that. And then let us, the audience, decide if we want to sit here and focus on that or not. And, and I can tell you 98% of us don't want to focus on that. 98% of us are just curious as to why you have not filed for a TPO and filed an emergency uh, motion or a petition for custody, even temporary custody. There was a comment there that said that you got a kinship placement you could do with CPS. Explore all avenues. Put that out there because your, the video of Alexis going viral was not about your son. It was about her son being handed off to CPS along with four other children. And everybody is watching that video because we're curious about the welfare of the children. That's it. I don't I, I don't have any reason to, to, to sit here and, you know, it's frustrating when a simple question is asked and you can't answer it and you can't sit here to answer the reasons you gave as to why you haven't hired an attorney yet and asked some member in your church to represent you as an attorney because you're a reverend. I mean, I don't know if, if anybody would let necessarily turn you down or at least offer you a discount. If you go tell somebody at your church you need help, I'm sure a couple of attorneys that attend your church will probably be willing to help you. People that you know, you say you're in school getting a doctor. You, you might be able to make some connections and get somebody to represent you for free. Look at God. Won't he do it? Then you ain't, you don't have to worry about why you're getting questioned more about why you haven't gotten custody yet versus or why your son didn't get custody of his own son. Why would he try to deal with that and tolerate that nonsense instead of just getting custody? You taking the, you said your son brought your, your grandson to you and you had him. Doesn't seem like he really tried to get custody. This is the reality of the situation and this is based on what you said out of your own mouth. And that's exactly what people are going to go on. What you stated. Your son is not here with us anymore to speak for himself. And he can't defend himself. But you can't make baseless accusations and stuff. And not give the other person you're accusing of doing something so heinous as homicide. The opportunity to defend themselves. If you feel threatened, you're not safe. You got to get a TPO or a restraint order. But that's how you resolve that. Not coming on someone's platform bashing the person 
and they get mad at the person that is on that invited you to their platform you're mad at nikki for not calling you a title oh, i'm not used to that disrespect who says she was trying to disrespect you i'm not used to a reverend being that rude to someone that was gracious enough to give you three hours of her life and allow you to come on with bogus evidence that aren't alluding to a homicide when the coroner didn't even agree that it was a homicide they didn't rule it at that but you 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 you're not presenting a case that would even allow anyone to believe the average person let's pretend the average person watching this did not go to law school the average person doesn't really fully believe that this was a direct homicide because the evidence is not really reflecting that and you're saying she said that out of her mouth when well who what witnesses do you have what testimony evidence do you have to prove that like you can't just go on a recording either that's not how that works you got to think how credible is this evidence and can the defense poke holes in it and the answer will be yes you would not be able to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt and a judge will get mad at any prosecutor or DA bringing this case to them saying she committed this murder. All of this is incriminating. Here's the evidence. And it's a bunch of Facebook posts of threats that you can't even say came directly from Alexis because you said a burner account. That judge would have that prosecutor disbarred and then hold him in contempt because that would just be an insult to the rule of law. You've got to seek counsel. You can't handle it by yourself. So stop trying to hire an attorney. Go to your church and say, I need help. Post a video up and put it on your Facebook page and ask people that you know that might see the video to help you get legal service. You're a reverend. You might be able to get some help with that where you won't have to pay so much money. You, you 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 talking about how you got this house and all this yard space? You don't sound like you're broke. <laughs> you don't sound like you you don't have money to do to to get an attorney if you need to. You just need to do it. I hope this you know. I know for one thing for sure. I'm not taking my video down. You can call it what you want, but you gotta have evidence. I hope Nikki does leave this up. I don't think she was rude at all. I mean, you know. You have the right to your opinion. So does everyone else. Nikki was right for not cutting off the comments because you don't want to stifle free speech. I might not like most comments being posted on my videos, but I respond to it or I don't. I mean, it is what it is. But I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's a disservice, you know, to the to the children if we're gonna do videos reporting on this issue with the the girl going viral for giving up her children. You know whether she was serious about doing that or not guess what she makes herself look bad y'all don't need to make her look bad she looks bad on her own she, she tackled that all by herself i just hate that this interview ended this way and no one still got clear answers as to why she has failed to hire an attorney and file an a, 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 a emergency uh petition for it, a custody hearing to get temporary custody of her grandson and you going around the bush with with not wanting to admit your son, you know, did drugs, even if he was trying to get clean, you know, you can't say that he did not overdose. And right now, the evidence points that he did. The coroner's, you know, autopsy results, science, evidence, laws, like it, it, it's just all of that points towards a, an overdose and not towards a homicide. Not saying that there may not have been something nefarious behind that. Not saying that Alexis may or may not be involved with it. All I'm saying is right now you got to go where the evidence takes you. And it did not lead to a homicide. It certainly did not lead to the prosecutor pursuing that. And your Facebook posts and your audio recordings aren't enough. Because a defense attorney will poke holes in that and obliterate it. And then the prosecutor, the DA, will be held to contempt. The judge will be mad. And then you're going to still sit there and, and look even worse because you just now you just gotten a whole attorney in trouble for uh, uh, a case to note a case that they brought before a judge knowing they didn't have sufficient evidence all because you, you're grieving and you you need counseling 
God wants us to get help. That's why he put people here on earth that are called counselors. That's why he put people here on earth that go to school to become psychiatrists and psychologists. That's why this information exists. So that we can live our best life and get some help when we need it. Everybody needs grief counseling in some form. But to say you don't need it and then to sit here and deny your son did drugs and then to sit here and try to accuse someone of a homicide with no evidence that's sufficient. You're letting all this cloud your judgment and you're not able to see clearly. And your focus should be your grandson. That should be your priority because an attorney can help you get custody and you don't know court rules. You don't know how the process works with court. You, you haven't explored all your options to get your grandson because clearly you and your son don't know all the options out there. Y'all won't hire an attorney. So get an attorney. Stop the accusations. It's not going to help you. And if you want to just do have an investigator, you can get a PI, a private investigator. That's somebody else you would have to hire. But this ain't it, man. This ain't it. All right. I'm done. Um, Nikki, please keep this video up. If not, I understand. But I, I had to react to it because I, I just felt that it's important, you know, for people to see and understand what's going on and, and why counseling is needed. Grief counseling is needed. And you know, sometimes as mothers, we have to admit we're not perfect people. So we're not going to be perfect parents. You can raise all your kids in the household and they all go to school and they still turn out differently. That's how life is. You got, you know, your children are human beings as well. And her son was a grown man in, in, in 2014. And you, you can't keep making excuses for his behavior because it, it, it caused, it led to a death based on an autopsy report, which is substantial evidence and not your Facebook post. All right. So either way, y'all be good. Lady Luck is done.